thank you for participating in Opening Doors, The Art of Inclusion. Tell us your names and the title of your door. My name is Brooke Imber and I'm Tamara Grant and the name of our door is City of Ships. What inspired you to participate in Opening Doors? Um, I, well, w when I saw the notice for this uh, project, I had just uh, a few weeks before come across a poem by Walt Whitman called City of Ships. And the, the, um, there's, a, there's two lines in it that, um, that is actually, you know, it was painted on our, our door and translated into all of the major languages spoken in Harrisonburg City Schools. And it was just a beautiful line that celebrates diversity. And um, I felt that mm -hmm. uh, I, I took I took this idea to, to Brooke because our school system, Harrisonburg is a very unique in our city, uh, is a very unique city in our state. Um, it is a rural area and yet it has um, a diversity uh, per capita that rivals any urban area. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I just thought that the, the 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 poem, these lines from the poem captured beautifully kind of the landscape of our city and the people that that live in it. Um, and so that was it seemed it seemed like just a perfect, perfect timing, perfect match. Um, Brooke and I put our heads together and came up with this concept um, and um, off we went. Mm -hmm. What materials did you use for your door? So the first thing that we did before we even got the door is we sent out a message and I taught an entire week of classes to every student at Keister Elementary School. And we said, hey guys, we're all gonna collaborate on a door and this door is about you and about what's special to you and your family. So bring in any trinkets, um, any family recipes, anything that represents who you are and where you come from, what makes you unique to the door. So we filled up a box of items such as tiny little toy cars, their favorite little friendship bracelet that they wanted to be a part of the door. Um, stickers, jewelry. Stickers, erasers, jewelry. Erasers, all the kid treasure you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, and then, so those were the 3D items that we used. And then for the backgrounds, so the way that we made the door is we made a bunch of different sized shadow boxes that were kind of similar to what you said, windows into- um, The kids' lives, basically. Windows into the kids' lives. And we were able to use drawings that students uh, worked really hard on when they participated in the Harrisonburg International Festival. They participated in the, um, it was called the Unity Tree, where they researched native flowers and fruits and plants from their home countries. And students all, they came to me with the idea that they wanted that to be a part of this door project. So we have not only physical items that students brought in, but their artwork that represents them and special memories of where they're from. Yeah. And the kids also, I think one thing to remember about the kids, Harrisonburg is incredibly unique and in, in its diversity. Um, we, as a refugee um, resettlement area. We have so many kids from, from all over the world. Um, and uh, that really um, it resonates, I think, with the poem that is quoted on the door as well, um, that, you know, people from all over the earth make contributions here. Um, and so that, that's, that is what we have with this door. And I think it's also um, it's something to remember that these kids, if you look at the door, the finished product is so colorful and bright and optimistic and it's it's very charming and in, in that kid innocence kind of way but mm -hmm. the thing to remember is is that in Harrisonburg we have um, we have a very high free and reduced lunch rate which right. means which we have a high percentage of kids who um, who have challenging circumstances at home we have kids who have immigrated here from all over the world leaving behind friends and family and cultures and first languages uh, we have in this, in the school division, like every school division, there are kids who are dealing with the hardships of life, which might be, you know, uh, loss of a loved one or illness or, mm -hmm. um, or divorce in their family or mm -hmm. moving. And, um, and then of course, there's always circumstances of abuse and um, neglect and those types of hardships. And so 
when you look at the door, there's all this hope and this optimism. But you also have kids from these incredibly difficult circumstances. Um, so, uh, you know, I think that it, it's it's remarkable to me to see all of that that um, bright, effervescent kind of spirit. Absolutely. Um, and also speaking of techniques and how the store was created, it was I mean, Tamara and I helped coordinate this and helped guide students, but our door is an absolute result of students physically putting those shadow boxes together. It mm -hmm. lined up perfectly that I was already teaching about collage, mm -hmm. and then we got to all come together and make a bunch of different collages in shadow boxes. Mm -hmm. They had their hot glue guns, they had all everything, and they were just like, let's just load it on. And, yeah. I mean, we came in to be like, okay. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 our, our biggest intervention was, was basically unplugging the glue gun. Yes. Um, they, they just <laughs> wanted to go forever. They, they were, but, but they created it. They arranged it. And the, the passion and enthusiasm. And I loved, um, there was one little boy that was like, he was like, where's Puerto Rico? We have to have Puerto Rico represented. And, and his friends, where's Guatemala? You know, and I was like, so, go go draw the flag. It's yeah. not too late. And mm -hmm. they were so excited. So um, when when we say that the, the, these this door represents the kids, it it absolutely does. Every every bit of it is yes. is their creation. Mm -hmm. Who did you collaborate with on your doors theme? Harrisonburg Public School students. Yes, absolutely. And and Walt Whitman. <laughs> yes, Walt Whitman. Thank you, Walt. <laughs> yes, Walt Whitman um, in his poem uh, that that talks, you know, that I think I think it's interesting, you know, he wrote that poem uh, before the Civil War. And it was, you know, it was he was looking out over a port, I think in Manhattan, and he was commenting mm -hmm. on the diversity of the ships at that port. And I thought that was just, and of course he was talking about the diversity of our country. Mm -hmm. And I thought, I thought how amazing it was that over, you know, a hundred, like 150 years later, we, we are still celebrating that diversity and we're celebrating it here in Harrisonburg. Yes. Thank you. Where can people learn more about your door? They can learn more at openingdoorsharrisonburg.com. <laughs>